just a 10 minute walk from our place is Denny's. And it's pretty drizzly outside. It is definitely cloudy outside. Fuji is hiding for sure. So we found one here at Denny's. It seems the same. Probably an easier climb. It's got stairs. <laughs> Every time we eat here, I always just think Denny's would be so disappointed, but Denny's owns this. What was Denny's disappointed about? What are, what are you seeing disappointed for? Okay, <laughs> next time we go back to America, we are going to Denny's. We're not going to IHOP, okay? And I know we go to IHOP because that's the jams, mm. but we're going to go to Denny's and we're going to see what they're doing at Denny's because I feel like this is not... Maybe this is There's kind of pathetic. There's a salad on my plate. <laughs> You basically can choose from four different sets, and it's the, the only thing that's different is the egg because we're restricted to the morning menu right now. And I saw this thing on the menu, and I was stoked about it. And it had like an avocado and a hamburg and some cheese and like all his business on it. I was like, this looks amazing. And I didn't read everything around it. You can only get it on the weekends. So she came over and I ordered, it and she was like, bad news. <laughs> this sausage should make you feel inadequate, but it is the size of my pinky. <laughs> it should make me feel inadequate. <laughs> so, what we got was just like the sets. There's some bread, there's some eggs, there's a salad. You get to choose your toast or French toast or pancakes on the side. And then there's the famously floppy bacon. <laughs> like, that's a pretty good flop. We got a good flop here. Mm, French toast is good. Other things on the menu that is interesting is like she was like you can only get from the morning menu. I like looking in the morning menu and I got to the drink area and like typically when you order something from it you get something from the drink bar which is like you can go up and you get like coffee and tea and juices and sodas and blah blah blah. It's like a, it's a drink bar. It's like a bunch of drinks. And uh, this time though you, when in the morning area you can get wine and hard alcohol and beer and stuff. And I'm and like, you need to be clear that's not part of the drink bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, those are separate purchases that you could make if you need a highball to really get your day started you need to rethink what's going on <laughs> like, yeah. but i could have been coaxed so <laughs> if eric was like yeah let's do this i would have been like wow we're doing this <laughs> uh other, other parts of the morning that happened like um we just walked from the hotel down here it took about i don't know a kilometer or something it took us about 10 minutes 11 minutes something like that it wasn't very far at all but it's sort of like this rural but touristy part of japan where there are people living here for sure but there's also things that look like kind of like dilapidated hotels and stuff kind of are in the fringes of things and then there are things that i think are japanese timeshares this is one of the lakes around mount fuji there's five of them that are known as the fuji goko and it's a super touristy area. It just happens to be that when we're here on a Tuesday or whatever day of the week it is right now, uh, in the middle of this season, there's really no tourism at all. So if you were here during Golden Week or you were here when the fall colors were changing or if you were here during like the Sakura with the cherry blossoms and stuff, it's probably butts and nuts packed up in here, but it feels a little bit like just everything is turned off right now. Like, the lady that we're staying with was like, yeah, we don't have any guests until Friday besides you. <laughs> we like, might have yeah, someone might. on Friday. Yeah, she said might. So might that means me, nobody is Friday. booked, but that possibly people show up on Friday. But it's like a, just like a nice little place to walk through. It's not super exciting or anything. It just feels like that mixture of tourism and Inaka countryside feel. Like, that's kind of just like the vibe that you're doing when you're doing the vibe here. And... It's so little going on that we ended up eating breakfast at Denny's. <laughs> yeah. But I'm not disappointed to get to stare out over the lake. You should have sat next to me so that you could actually look at the view because you're just looking at this and you look at this all day, every day. So this is an yeah. okay view. <laughs> all day. What do we got back here? We got some lake. Let's see if I can dial in a lake. Oh yeah, there, there's some lake. Pan out, then pan back in. Out, tons of crap on the table. In, this only costs 1,320 yen for both of us. It is ridiculously cheap. I, I don't know how they're making a profit. 
at all. <laughs> you still talking smack? You were talking smack earlier about that little wiener. <laughs> you feeling better about the little wiener when you see the bill? I still have, I hold my opinions about the wiener. It's supposed to be a sausage. But I guess if we, if we Americanized everything here, it certainly wouldn't be that cheap of a price. So, and, and in America, it's not that price at all. How much is a Grand Slam? I'm gonna find out. This video is a highlight from a rainy bike trip we took to the lakes around Mount Fuji in Japan. The full thing is linked on screen and down below. Make sure to subscribe here for more highlights.